Good afternoon from the fourth of CME. This is Chris Robinson with your Traders Exclusive comment for today, the 20th day of September. One week left to go in the month. What are we going to talk about today? Well, as I was walking over here, I think the number one thing to focus on was the bounce that we had in soybeans. Why did we bounce? It's a combination of some news stories and also technical things. Um, just two days ago, soybeans were flirting with an, uh, $8, which is a big support level. We got down to 813, 814. Everybody was very, very bearish. Uh, that's 48 hours ago. Today, we trade all the way up to 855. What happened? Well, number one, you had to report that Argentina was going to put a 30% tariff on their exports for their uh, farmers down there. And that's number one. So that made our beans seem more attractive. Number two, there's a story out, believe it or not, that Argentina is buying beans from the U.S. and then turning around and selling them to China. So that's all it took. Um, I, some people believe it, some people don't. It was just one of those rumors that came out today. We'll know in a week or two if it's true. Certainly nothing illegal about it. If you're China and you see an opportunity to buy beans that $2.50 cheaper than where they were this summer's high, got to remember back in May we had soybeans at 1060 on the board. So they go from 1060 to $8.13. That might have been too tempting for the Chinese not to figure out some way to buy some beans. So the, the second thing that happened today was we had a, a short covering rally in response to that. And it came up to a very key technical point. Lots of times people will talk about technical analysis and people's eyes glaze over, right? It's boring. Uh, and it also the other problem with technical analysis is it doesn't always work. So people want something that works all the time. Nothing in life works all the time. However, today we did have uh, soybeans come right back to a very big trend line uh, resistance right around 850 and, a, uh, 850 and a half. We settled right on it. So that's a great setup for the rest of the week. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll see if we can hold these rallies. If we can, we'll probably get a little bit more continuation rally as uh, you have people that are short, buy it back. Also, if the story comes out that, the, uh, that China really is buying beans from Argentina uh, uh, that way, you know, via the U.S., that I think could also be friendly for soybeans. And you throw it all into the mix, it's just one of those things where um, you never know when you come in what's going to move the markets. And uh, when you have a situation where the, the markets are as oversold as they have been for corn and beans, it doesn't take much to turn it around. Um, by, if you look at what also happened in corn today, corn also had a good uh, 10, 12, 14 cent rally off its recent low, 342 and a half. I think it was the low a couple days ago. Uh, looks like corn wants to go to possibly 360 here. We were well above 350 today. So this could be a setup. This could be the turn everybody's been waiting for. Time will tell. Um, but uh, an interesting day in the soybeans when you throw all that in together. So it was a combination of uh, rumors, news stories, and technicals all coming together to give a nice rally, a rice rally in the soybeans. We'll see if uh, the lows are in uh, moving forward. If you're looking for help with your hedging, you're speculating, what have you, look me up online, Chris Robinson. Have a great day.